Creating your podcast is really about writing your own script and recording it in your voice. We took it a step further and we added background music. And now we're going to take it even further by turning it into an enhanced podcast. In the directions, it tells you that an enhanced podcast is a podcast that contains both audio and visuals. And so what you were to do next after you finished recording your voiceover and adding background music was to collect at least five images to help tell your story. And then you drag those images into the podcast track in GarageBand. So let's take a look at how to do that. I've collected images into iPhoto and I'm going to open my media browser. I'm already in that folder of images. And so now I can start dragging those images into this top track called the podcast track and it says right there drag artwork here. So when I do that it's gonna drop that image and I don't want one image to take up the entire podcast so I'm gonna shorten it and you're gonna have to figure out by listening uh, when you want it to change to a different image. Notice that that image appears right here. This is my preview. If I click here that will pop out and I'll be able to preview. I made an important decision in my life a few years ago. Okay, so maybe right there I want to start a new picture. I started running. Okay, so I started running. Hmm, maybe this one. So I'm going to drag that. Put it right up against there. First a little bit. Okay, how about this one? I tried to follow some of the advice. I ran on the Des Plaines River Trail. Did a long run every Saturday morning. All right, so um, let's say that I want to add a couple more pictures in there. And let's say one more. Okay, let's take a look at the editing pane uh, of the podcast track. If we look down at the bottom, what I see is those pictures are lining up uh, one underneath the other. And these are acting like separate chapters. And so it's treating them like chapters. Uh, I can title each chapter if I want to. Etc. It tells me exactly what time in my podcast that track begins and that it's it's um, listing that time by seconds and tenths hundredths thousandths of a second okay and I could put that in manually if I want to type over that or if I just move the picture a little bit it will change that number by itself now right here it says episode artwork okay, the episode artwork is what's going to appear um, as the um, icon for this entire podcast for the file uh, and that also is going to be what's going to appear if there are any gaps between pictures like maybe right here so I think I probably want the logo right there to appear so now let's say for example I'm playing it and I'm, I'm using the space bar to play it and pause it there's a gap so for just a second um, it showed the episode artwork some other things I can do is I could add um, a URL. I could add a hyperlink so that when you're, you're playing the podcast and viewing it, someone could actually click on it and it will take them somewhere else. So let's say, for example, um, the, there's the URL title and then there's the actual URL. So for the, for the URL title, I'm going to take them to the Chicago Marathon website. And then ideally you would go out and find that website and copy it and paste it here. Okay, and I'm not going to add any more URLs. We'll just have one for the beginning. Or it might make more sense to put that one at the end. So after they're finished listening to the podcast, then they could click there if they wanted to. Um, you can edit the artwork. Not up here and not over here, but if you double click the artwork right here, now I can zoom in or zoom out on it. Um, and it's always going to be the same shape, 
but I, I could add gaps on the side and then I would set it when I am have it the size I want and I can move it around here as well. Now these, the uh, URLs and the chapter titles are optional. You don't need to do that. Um, if you're working on the enhanced podcast, however, you do need to add pictures that are going to appear, our episode artwork along the way. Okay, and then when you are finished, you're going to, of course, rewind it and play and listen to the whole thing. By the way, there's the link right there. And then you're going to share it, and you're going to send your podcast to iTunes. And you want to make sure this says... AAC encoder, which it should if you didn't change it. And then you're going to hit share. And so there it is. When I'm viewing it in iTunes, I'm only going to hear it. Um, but if I go all the way to the bottom, I could um, click this arrow and that will show me the artwork and it will also show me the hyperlink. Okay, I could click once on it again and it will pop it out so I can see it in the big picture. Here's the URL and if I click there, it should go to that website. So I'm going to stop that, I'm going to close that. Uh, and if I were to drag that out to my desktop, I could preview it by selecting it uh, by clicking on it once and hitting the space bar. And so it's only going to show me the episode artwork. It's not going to show me the individual pictures, but this does become the logo um, or the icon for the podcast. If I were to double click it, it's going to open it in iTunes. So at this point, you are going to find it in your iTunes library, and that is what you're going to turn in by adding it to your website, your portfolio page.